Hello guys and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a video and today I'm going to talk to you about a book I really love. Um, but first imagine you are in a place where you know there's going to be a tornado. Let's say you live in a such place. How would you feel if you're ready for the tornado? And now think how would you feel if you're not ready for the tornado? Isn't that true that if you're ready, you're just going to have to kind of wait and for it to pass and hope that nothing is going to happen to your house or space where you are? But if you're not ready, you're really nervous and you really don't know what to do. Either way, when you are in a place where a tornado happens, you know there is a possibility for it to destroy everything. And you have two choices. You either give up because your house is destroyed, because everything is ruined, and you just stay there, you don't want to do anything, you just pull yourself down and you cry that your life is destroyed, you don't even want to go eat, and you just wait there. Or even if you were hurt, you're like, I'm not going to go to a doctor, I'm just going to stay here and wait because I'm upset about the tornado. Or you can be like, yeah, it was destroyed, sad, I'm very sad. But also I can pull up myself together, and rebuild it and go to a doctor if I need to start or uh, to be helped. Isn't that a better option? Yes. And you know, when, you, when people do that, they actually uh, have resilience. They develop resilience. And um, to develop resilience is really an important tool for ourselves because it really helps us in life. And as I said, I had the book Resilient by Dr. Rick Hansen with Forrest Hansen, and I really appreciate this book. It's a very nice book. And a fun fact, when I asked my daughter, what, she's seven years old, when I asked her, what do you think resilient means? She looked at the book and she said, I don't know, resilience is a tree on a beach. So you see, when you don't know what's resilient, like just my seven year old daughter, you might not know how to cultivate it. You might not know how it's gonna help you. And you might not know even if it's useful to you. But this book really helps with that. When, um, and, and this book is going to give you the feeling that you have a grip of this life, that you have the power to move through your life despite of all the bad things, chaotic things that happen in, the, in your life or this world. And um, I like how they have some humor too. So in the introduction, they say uh, yeah, something very funny and I'll read it to you. It says like, uh, resilience is the greatest opportunity you have since usually you have more influence over your mind than other um, uh, part of your body or even world. It also offers the greatest impact since you take your mind with you wherever you go. So as you see, reading this book is actually going to give you the tools that you can use it at any time. You don't have to be in a special place or do a special ritual. It's just going to train, help you develop the resilience in order to be able to apply it anywhere you go. And I, um, I will read to you the contents, and I think I passed it, but um, here, of oh, contents. So it's... Um, separated in different categories and some of them uh, it's about compassion, mindfulness, learning. Then the part two is greed, gratitude, confidence. In part three you'll learn about calm, motivation, intimacy. In part four you'll learn about courage, aspiration and generosity. And you see all of these parts we know about them that they would make our life much easier. They will help us be happier and achieve our goals. But sometimes we understand that, but we don't know how to do it. So reading this book is actually going to give you the tools needed to achieve or to start achieving those um, good qualities and develop resilience. And I know that some people might say that they don't have time to actually achieve resilience because um, they tried it once and it was maybe not for such a long term. And I agree, you know, resilience, it's actually something that you have to build over time. It's not going to be overnight. It's a continuous process. So it's a work. 
And I also will tell you that you do have time to develop resilience because the time when it takes to actually put yourself down or say, I cannot do this, or this is too much, so many problems, or this is not um, something for me right now. Instead of thinking like that and taking time to think like that and feeling sad and oppressed, you can take the time and actually work on these uh, qualities that the book talks about in order to develop resilience. And there are many, many, many um, you know, scientists that show that our life is a lot more better with resilience because why, um, as Rick Hansen says um, in his book, resilience is about um, forgiving yourself and taking care of yourself and letting go of things that didn't work or maybe you're not proud of and work with your current situation in order for you to achieve a better, better result. So I really recommend the book. I'll link it in the description. I don't get any type of payments from them or anyone. So I just really love the book. Well, please uh, like, share and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.